Have you ever wondered how maintenance and operations teams can efficiently track and manage their equipment and machinery? Well, in this video, we're going to dive into the concept of asset hierarchy in maintenance software and why it's a game changer. We're going to explore how it helps in tracking, scheduling, and identifying the root causes of equipment failure. My name is Ryan Chan, the CEO and founder of Upkeep, and I'm here to guide you through this process. Let's get started. So what exactly is an asset hierarchy in maintenance software and why is it so important? Well, an asset hierarchy is essentially a logical index of all your maintenance equipment, machines, and components, and how they all work together. It's like a roadmap of your facility's machinery. Building and understanding this hierarchy is absolutely crucial to efficiently tracking, scheduling, and identifying the root causes of failure in your equipment. Now, when you combine this asset hierarchy strategy with your computerized maintenance management system, you can use the condition data from your most important assets to create the ideal maintenance schedule. This can help prevent breakdowns and reduce your emergency maintenance by up to 75%. That's right, 75%. Understanding the relationships between your equipment is key to minimizing downtime. Each facility will be somewhat different in terms of how it assigns the parent-child relationship of its equipment and machinery. Once you figure out these relationships, you can schedule repairs, inspections, and other maintenance tasks in a way that causes minimal disruption to your entire system. Having a solid record of all your critical machinery allows for better asset management. You'll be able to see, track, and record usage and normal wear. This information plays a critical role in predictive maintenance planning, helping you to make smart decisions about inspections, maintenance, or even asset replacement. Creating a detailed inventory of all your equipment and their replaceable components allows you to pinpoint failure points and associated costs. You'll be able to identify the root cause of failures, which parts are causing the most problems, and where your maintenance costs reside. Having this information not only allows management to make smarter, big picture decisions, but can also help guide and inform an individual technician during routine checks and repairs. So how do you build an asset hierarchy? The best time to start creating an asset hierarchy is during a maintenance software upgrade. Before you begin, be sure to establish a logical structure and consistent naming system. Then include only those assets that are critical to running your day-to-day -day operations. Remember, it's better to select fewer machines with more details about each component than to have a surface record for all of your equipment, including the machines you rarely use. Assign ownership of the hierarchy to one key maintenance supervisor so that the system can be audited, modified, and improved over time. It's the owner's responsibility to keep the hierarchy up to date by adding any new assets, deleting old assets, and revisiting the relationship structures as the facility or maintenance program evolves. So there you have it. That's the rundown on asset hierarchy in maintenance software. Understanding and implementing this strategy can drastically improve your maintenance efficiency and reduce costs. So why wait? Start building your asset hierarchy today. And that brings us to the end of our video. We hope you found this deep dive into asset hierarchy insightful and useful. Remember, this strategy can drastically improve your maintenance efficiency and reduce costs. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. For more resources and information, visit our website at upkeep.com. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to helping you optimize your maintenance and operations.